Namaste Goa Flowers, how are you? I am Anita Goa. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my favorites for the month of May. This is kind of a new video for me to make because I've never really been interested in making videos like this and I think I've reflected on this. It's a little bit a part of my personality that I don't like to do what everyone else does because I want to be so special and so different. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that, but it's just that sometimes I resist doing everything that everyone else does. But then I was inspired, I broadened my horizon, I changed my mind, I gained a new perspective because of one of my favorites in this video that I will be sharing with you. And the products that I'll be sharing with you sort of has at the same theme. So I think that is the theme for this May favorites actually, as I was looking at what, I, what it is that I'm going to share. But if you enjoy this type of video from me, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below if you want to as well. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, but you enjoy my content and you use my content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. You can either press the subscribe button or you can press the Anita Goa TV logo right there in your right lower hand corner and you will get all of my videos into your inbox when I post them. Okay, so let me get started. At the beginning of May, I went on a trip to New York. Most of you know that I lived in New York for a couple of decades and I call New York my home. It's been part of my life for a really, really long time. Um, and visiting New York was something that, of course, I never did because I was just used to living there. And visiting in May, I went there for the purpose of spending time with my girlfriends because since moving to London two years ago, I've really, really missed my girlfriends. So going to New York as a tourist, but still knowing the city really well, has become one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to do. And I completely now understand why tourists say that they love New York <laughs> so much because so do I. <laughs> it's very different to live in a place compared to visiting it in a place and uh, that was just sort of uh, a new epiphany for me. While I was in New York I had a tarot card reading with my very good friend and fellow yoga teacher Holly Ramey and she had started to do tarot card readings and I loved the reading that she gave me. It was really insightful and was very point on to where it is that I am in my life and I decided to get the tarot cards. And the tarot cards that she used is called The Wild Unknown and there's also a guidebook and a booklet with it. What I've been doing is I've been pulling uh, a card every day, just this part uh, of getting to know the cards and you know they basically you know, look like this, I don't know if you can see them. And, the, and then I pull a card and then I go into the book and I read the meaning of the card. I think that the booklet is very, very helpful. And the funny thing is, is that I've pulled so many of the cards that I pulled in Holly's reading and every day oftentimes I will end up pulling the same card every day even though I shuffle them around really really well and I was starting to get a little annoyed at why am I pulling the same card and I don't like that I'm putting pulling the same card I want to pull a different card because then I get to know a different card but of course there are messages in these cards and then I had to pause and I had to see, yep, yeah, there's a deeper message here. So the description of the cards and the way that Kim Krantz uh, talks about them, the words that she uses just has broadened 
my mind and broaden my horizon and um, that's why I really really love these cards and I'm really enjoying them and I integrate them into my meditation as well as into my yoga practice and uh, in my writing as well. So another thing that happened when I was in New York is that I ended up ordering a matcha latte, iced matcha latte. I had been a bit curious about matcha, but I was like, uh, I don't like green tea, but I ended up ordering one and I completely fell in love. So what I have learned about green tea in the process of talking with baristas and doing my own research is that when you make green tea, you should never make it with super hot water or boiling hot water because the green tea becomes bitter then. And that's probably what I've done, made it with boiling hot water and that's probably what the restaurants and the cafes I've been to has done as well and why I've never liked green tea. But matcha is uh, not bitter at all. It comes like this, it's um, a powder basically, so it's really potent and um, you have a little ceremony basically as you do it. It's very common in Japan. I would love to go to Japan and, and experience this. So I got a whisk and now I have to whisk it and really mix it very well together. And then I blend it either with the almond milk and actually I was out of almond milk so I used oat milk and put some ice cubes in it and it's really delicious. It's another thing that helps me to decrease on my black tea consumption. And it's healthy for you. It has a lot of antioxidants in it. It increases fat oxidation. It increases fat oxidation and helps with weight loss, supercharges your immune system, increases energy and endurance, enhances mood and memory, stimulates metabolism, naturally detoxifies. And when my husband read this list, he added, and I hadn't read what was on this package, and he just added, it makes you an instant millionaire. <laughs> I had to laugh. I said, oh, really? <laughs> he goes, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Because what I notice is that when I drink it, my mind calms down and my mind gets very clear and calm and sort of feels really even keeled. Doesn't do that with coffee or even with my black tea. And it also makes me feel really good and clean in my body. So I really love it. And I ended up buying this one, Eco Matcha on Amazon. It has had really, really good reviews and the company seems like an amazing company. They wrote me, asked me if I had received the product. They um, included an ebook with it and I wrote them back and said, I love it and I'm going to include it in a favorites video. And uh, then they wrote back and said, we would like to give your viewers a 10% discount. So you can uh, find that discount code in uh, the description box below and uh, order it if you're interested. I bought this one by myself so they did not send me this one uh, and I will definitely reorder it again. Highly, highly recommend matcha. I love it so matcha. So I have a few more left. Two books. One is Zero Waste Home by Bay Johnson. And the other one is Let It Out by Katie Delbout. This book, Let It Out by Katie Delbout, has really inspired me. This is about journaling and basically letting out your thoughts onto paper. And as you let it out onto paper, you get a really good view of what's inside of here, maybe how much crap is in there and what needs to go and just clear it out so that you can realize and manifest your goals and your dreams. And I just recently interviewed Katie, so that interview is going to post on my channel as well pretty soon, so look out for that. The other book is um, about reducing uh, packaging and just um, becoming much more economical and um, aware of um, the products that you buy and the clothes that you buy and everything that you consume in your life so that you have much smaller imprint 
on our environment and on our earth. This zero waste is very, very aspirational. I don't think that I will ever get there. It's a little bit too much for me, but you know what, you never know. But this has been very inspirational and has you know, broadened my mind of certainly what is possible. And soon we're going to move house. And although I talked about this in a video before, how I have decluttered and how I think I thought I was at the bottom of my decluttering, I realized that I'm not. I still have things that I can release and let go of. And as we move, I'm going to let go of so much more. So definitely simplifying my life and living a simpler life is um, the way for me to go and what I um, aspire to. So let's see what the journey holds, but I highly recommend reading this and you know broadening your mind and seeing how you can um, decrease on your consumption and help our environment because it surely is needed. Second last favorite, Goa granola. Do you know how easy it is to make granola? It's the first time I've made it actually and um, I love granola but I never really like the store-bought granola because either it doesn't have the taste I like or doesn't have the nuts and the seeds that I like and then I had the brilliant idea why don't I just make my own and that's what I did super super easy no packaging put them in a jar like this and um, it's so delicious crunchy I use it for my breakfast on ice cream just as a snack highly recommend it my recipe is also on my blog or in the description box below my last favorite but not least is comes in the form of a person. And the reason why I wanted to do this favorites video, and it is Malin Nilsson. Malin has become a really good friend of mine. She is a Swedish vegan food blogger. She has a beautiful Instagram called Good Eatings. She has a blog also called goodeatings.com as well as a new YouTube channel with the same name, Good Eatings. You should definitely check it out. The videography is amazing and Marlene is just so talented. Her food is delicious and the way that she presents it is just inspirational truly so Malin has inspired me so much just in the way that she is as a person and her creativity and she started doing um, these favorites videos and I thought that it was really natural and it was sort of in sync with what I thought that I could do as well so that is the reason you can if you enjoy this you can thank Malin because she is the reason why I thought that it would be a good thing for me to do to just share stuff that helps me and that inspires me that broadens my mind that contributes in some shape or form <laughs> okay so that's it for me for this month I hope that this was um, fun inspirational helpful in some way let me know and uh, if you like it, I will be back with a June favorite as well. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye.